the field. Drivers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go. And it looks like over on the blue alliance and autonomous team 6956 has put up some power cells as well as 3180 is scoring in both the outer and the inner ports. And we are coming out of autonomous and into the teleoperated period. Over on the blue lines, it looks like 7454 is lining up to score some of those power cells into that lower port. Well, it looks like over on that blue line side as well from the Red Alliance, Team 6721 might be attempting to play some defense. Meanwhile, their alliance partner 2960 is over in the trench collecting some power cells to go ahead and line up and score. Back over on the blue line side, Team 6721 is playing some intense defense on Team 6956 as well as 7454 while they line up to score their power cells. Oh, but 6956 does get a power cell into that high goal. It looks like over on their Red Alliance sign, Team 8116 is lining up to possibly score in that high goal, while their Alliance partner 2960 is also lining up to score some power cells. Oh. 67-21 is keeping on that intense defense to stop the Blue Alliance from scoring. With about 45 seconds left in the match, it is in favor of the Blue Alliance with a score of 47 to 26. Looks like for the Blue Alliance, Team 7454 is getting ready because now we enter our end game period. It looks like they are lined up to begin their climb. Meanwhile, some of the members of the Red Alliance are headed that way as well. It looks like 7454 is in the air. Meanwhile, 67-21 for the Red Alliance is still keeping up some of that defense. With the nine seconds left, 29-60 is lining up to attempt to climb. It looks like we're ready to see the scores for qualification match 46. And the winner is the Blue Alliance with a score of 101 to 45.